Ladies, you might as well just leave your panties by the nightstand. So I'ma get into this piece. Now I must admit that at the first initial glance of your body standing before me nude in your birthday suit, my erection stood as wood or hard granite at a soldier salute, hard enough to chip even the teeth of a group of woody woodpeckers' lips. And as you step closer to me, my perception intensifies the multitude and splinters the flesh of the wood just screaming and stretching and aching for me to work out that wet muscle of good seated in between your hips. Creating a subtle submissive eclipse of a primitive lust that's overridden the signals conveyed to my brain with your glossy lips just causing me to have a nervous breakdown from this adrenaline rush. Yielding me a mercenary of love that's sexually driven insane. Initiating that good feeling pain as I enter your dark haven with the slow, deep, supreme penetration. Invading your soul, causing your lungs to suddenly gasp for oxygen as if you had asthma. But baby, you volunteered for this suffocation. Heart pounding, pulsating, and racing, contorted sex faces. The first five seconds of sex allows you to escape the fallacy of this dry ass reality, and it escapes you off into an alternate dimensional place of amazing graces. And how sweet is your sound when I lay your mahogany brown frame right down on the ground, right before I stroll downtown, giving you a lonely stroke and a gentle pound, turning poetry into pornography. And nothing is stopping me when I'm trying to be that one man that can make you cry literally from the heightened intensity of this ecstasy. Making that pretty cat hiss and snap back at me, get wetter than monsoon showers in a rainforest just surrounding and drowning me. So I tell you what, baby, we gon' fuck and fight to broad daylight. I'm looking at you and you're looking at me with tension, heat, and sweat, just allowing you to release all of your stress and worries through me and connect fully and physically while you whisper in my ears with silent cries and cold lips talking dirty to me. With oohs and ahs and moans and groans, I think he even heard you squeal, so I ease back to tease you with the tip of the bone so your lips can grasp the sap and feel the contours of the entire head smooth. Placing my hands firmly around your throat, I'm not choking you, just showing you that I am in complete control. You are the cocaine to my soul, so you're my new addiction, and I don't want it to stop and love that everlasting thought, but even if it does rise out, baby, no worries. I got that KY jelly warming sensation to ease the tension and friction. From the missionary position, I'm throwing your legs over my shoulders, getting it spicier by the minute, then grinding to win. It's spinning you up in thin air with my arms under your legs. Baby, I'm standing up in it, ramming up in it, pulling your hair, licking, sucking, twisting your nipples with ice in my mouth and blowing them with cool air. Then I'll sink my teeth into the side of your neck, but not enough to tie the flesh, but enough to let you know that I'm about to take you there. Making you slip in and out of blackouts, just showing you how I just plan on earning love. But baby, don't even trip if I happen to swear the track out because I'm just using methods I know foolproof to fuck perms up. Stroking and climbing, I'm bumping and grinding, causing your vagina to start farting, queefing and whining from the timing that now seems endless. Throwing you on the bed rough like a dominatrix, I'm using chloroceptic and the eucalyptus from a menthol hose cough drop in my mouth to your clitoris to water the slippery spot so the juices can sweat out your g-spot and i can just straight go to work you can even watch and listen as i swish swap and swerp i'm so cold-blooded baby i can taste your wet juices and fluids in my mouth till i get full and burp with just enough work to get it more hotter than heat waves in a humid sauna. My cooling lizard lips meet your clitoris in a fierce battle. Making you want to paint me like I was a promiscuous prostitute. Selling hard dick and licks with spirit mint bubble gum standing over on the corner. And that battle was something I made sure I won because I like doing everything to a said and tried and done. Me on top or behind in doggy style or you on top and you can ride a while. Then I'll do something no man has ever done. I'm going to consume, please, and get tongue-tied teasing you with my tongue till I nut up and come. 
with the therapeutic movement of my licks and the phenomenal effervescent fears of a BC powder tablet to your clitter. Make that shit shiver, tingle, and leave your nerves in a rage. Making your soul explode and your body numb, just left in a daze. Making you forget your actual age and your vision blurred and haze, as if you were seeing two of me. So don't get it twisted or confused, baby. My main mission is to get you a little woozy. Then I realized I was still rock hard and you were still oozing, but not everything was as it seemed on this night. Some shit just wasn't right. I was in the bed with the moisture from my own vanilla white sex cream and you sort of disappeared because it was just another wet dream.